So my name is Nancy Victorin Bengrud. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I'm currently in my 13th year here at Hamlin. Um, I am retiring August 20th though. So that's into my 14th year. And um, I could never have imagined myself at a university for this long, but I'm really proud of lots of the things that um, we've done over the years. I have a couple ways of thinking about it. Um, the first one uh, I understand in, um, I'm not in, an indigenous person, okay? I'm not Dakota or Ojibwe, but that this idea has influenced me, of course, that seven generations, that we're, we're not here to gobble everything up now because we have to have long-term thinking. We have to think about seven generations and more into the future. Um, I also think about sustainability through my lens as a Christian, as gratitude and gift and welcoming people to the table where there's enough to nourish everyone. Um, for me as a Christian and as a pastor, the table is the central image. Um, and that, that links to the pizza oven over at Hamlin Church, if you've seen that. I can come back to talk about that, but um, sustainability. I also think of it as fertility. I, I'm really concerned that we don't, both in our religious imagery, in our narratives of uh, politics and economics, that we don't have a real place for fertility healthy fertility. We think of it as chemicals, additives, things like that, industrial agriculture, um, where fertility um, and the health, well-being, and that we live from the soil, all, you know, the soil, the sun, the water, but soil to me has been central over the years, more so um, in the last year. So, uh, uh, being a composter, being an or at home organic, uh, being inspired by uh, Will Allen and uh, his movement Growing Power, um, trying to put fertility back into the cycles so there's no waste. So that zero waste notion, you know, is important too. But I also think of sustainability in terms of racial reckoning and of justice and mercy between peoples and uh, living in ways so that all may live. Um, uh, healing our relationship with uh, the land as well as those who we live with on the land. So um, uh, reparative justice in terms of uh, uh, with in, in our, where we live, in terms of Dakota people, is essential. Um, the Wesley Center did several conferences over several years um, in connection with Dakota elders around the 150th commemoration. So um, that's all to say, uh, just some of the lenses I guess I bring, or images, I think in pictures, you know. So uh, when the Wesley Center came together um, in its, uh, in, when I was hired to direct and bring all these different little aspects of spirituality service, social justice to uh, the Wesley Center um, and the staff was put together, um, there was a program um, called Catalyst, which was over spring breaks. And um, over the years, um, now we have had to pause it, and we'll have an opportunity to relaunch that. Um, and that's currently an area that newer mood is responsible for immediately. But um, rather than this idea that we're white saviors or any kind of savior going into a community, Catalyst is a small group model of um, learning from community, um, uh, building relationships with community, more learning from rather than we're going toward. And um, we've had some long-term partnerships with communities um, in cities across the United States. Um, but when I think of 
sustainability, I think of some of our, like when I started, we, um, and I went on this my first year, um, we went up to White Earth and worked with Winona LaDuke and the maple tree tapping. So um, uh, that was, you know, we're learning about sustainability um, through Ojibwe people and particularly uh, Winona's uh, organization um, up north. And those kinds of trips where you're there, you're not just popping in and out for a few hours of volunteering, though I don't want to write that off either at all. But like when you're living and working every day with people for a week, there's some possibilities some of high impact um, in students' lives. So um, I'll say that about the uh, maple syrup. Um, maple tree tapping that um, we were involved with for several years. Um, we've developed, I mean, these are projects that I've been kind of very close to. Um, we developed a partnership. Uh, we had two trips go to San Francisco. And um, one of them was working, volunteering with uh, LGBTQ communities. And the one that um, I was involved in starting up with a student, um, we worked um, in food kitchens and in particular a, uh, a St. Gregory of Nyssa uh, Episcopal Church out in uh, San Francisco. They, every, once a week, right in the middle of their sanctuary, they set up their weekly food distribution. And I found that a, just a very awesome connection of like, what is this table for, you know? and it's for people, it's for community, it's for food, access, food, uh, accessibility. So we, we were involved with that for a period of time, for several years. Um, we went to Milwaukee because Will Allen, I mean, I don't know if you, uh, his organization has gone through several changes now. It was called Growing Power in Milwaukee, where he took some old greenhouses and, um, began this incredible food um, food growing, community growing work in uh, Milwaukee. So these are, these are all, um, Catalyst has had trips that have uh, sought to learn from people who were attending to sustainability in, in new ways. Um, 